Hi there, it's Moira McDonald. Right, well, welcome back, number one. And number two, I sewed in the signature because nobody said, can we see you doing it? I'm so glad because uh, it fought back as is not unusual with me. Um, it's in the book and I have added first and foremost a doily to the outside. Now, I know this has been gifted to me, but I, I, I apologise profoundly to whoever gave me it because I've had so many gifts that I kind of lose sight of who gives me what. Um, I think it might have been Lisa, in which case thanks very much Lisa. If it wasn't Lisa, thanks very much whoever it was. Anyway, the book is um, together and the doily is on the outside. Uh, so what I'm going to do, what I'm going to start doing today is uh, getting some tags and ephemera ready. I'm going to shoot this in little instalments simply because it involves using distress ink which I'm wanting to dry and I know I can use a heat gun to do it but I don't particularly like drying paper that way. I think it's okay for doing embossing. I personally um, I'm not a great fan of bringing out the heat gun and the other thing about it is it's really quite noisy and there's no way you're getting away without hearing it. So we're going to start with, I've cut some paper, or not paper, card that has already been tea stained um, or coffee stained. I think it was tea stained. Yeah, it was, because it, if it was coffee, it would probably be darker. Right, um, what I'm going to do is what's called ink smooshing. Now, um, I am assuming if you ever watch any of Tim Holtz's videos that you'll have seen ink smooshing. But if you haven't, here's what it involves. Basically, we're going to use it to give our tags a bit of a coloured background. So ink smooshing, now this is my craft mat, right, which I work on all the time. I'm going to take, this is Distress Oxide, Thread Burlap. I'm going to put some of that down. And I am going to, this is just a wee a bottle that I got from our local big chemist, Boots of Chemist. Uh, other chemists are available. And I have filled it with water and some perfect pearls. I'm hoping you can see that it's kind of cloudy. Perfect Pearls gives everything a nice wee sheen. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to squirt my, my frayed burlap with some of my Perfect Pearl water. I'm going to take my tags and I'm going to go smoosh. And I get quite a lot of ink on that one. We're going to allow that to dry. Smoosh. Smoosh. I'll allow that to dry. I might have overdone the amount of ones I've used actually. It should, in theory, leave quite a nice kind of background to things. Now, uh, you'll see the Distress Oxide goes kind of white when it's wet. It'll also, once it's dry, have a wee bit of a pearlised sheen because I used the Perfect Pearls. So I'm going to add to this, I was going to use Walnut Stain but I think it might be a bit dark. I'll use some peeled paint. I'll just give that a wee wipe with a baby wipe. That out there. Uh, a wee bit of peeled paint. Again, distress oxide. Just so happens. They're at the top of my drawer. A wee bit of water and we'll add that. It just gives this a bit of background colour. And I'll subsequently, or should I say after this, I shall stamp on these. And all my inks used up before I got to another one. Ugh. Mm. 
it doesn't need to be completely covered it's just it's all part and parcel of giving this a, a kind of background thing to any ink that I'm putting down by way of stamping that'll do this I think give that a wee wink So what we've got just now is these that we're going to leave to dry and uh, then do a wee bit more adorning to them, adding some stamping and whatever. There's quite a lot of ink on these and the Distress Oxide gives it that white. I think with any luck you should be able to see a bit of the perfect perils. I can but I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Uh, Hope it is. Let's see if you can see it in that one. Oh, well, we'll leave it and we'll see. Um, the other thing I can do is if I open this and I don't know if I'm going to get enough water doing it that way, you can add some water to this. and allow that to dry, it should also leave marks in that. Right, my wee bottle's all squint, I don't know what's happened to it, I must have banged it at some point. Right, that's us, we'll leave that there, and uh, to you it will seem like seconds, but to me it will be after my lunch probably, and we'll start working on these, um, as well as everything else that we'll do. So, see you again shortly. Okay, so Time has passed. No, not for you, but for me. And uh, I think everything's dry. It's not flat. It never is when you've uh, started to play a bit with distress and water, especially when it's not cardstock. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some uh, stamping. But with these two bigger bits, I've got a bit of an idea. I was watching. To be honest, I don't know if they're long enough, but I'm hoping they are. Uh, I was watching a video um, about... Who was it now? It, it was a stamping thing. I think it might have been My Favourite Things, which is a stamp company. And they had a new die, which... Uh, see, this isn't really very long. It's only 8 inches. Um, So that's me thinking, sorry. Um, bim, 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 bim. Nah, it's no long enough. I'll keep that idea and I can do that tomorrow with something else. Right, what I want to do is... Um, I'm going to cut it down a wee bit because it's a wee bit... Although it's no long enough to do what I want to do with it, it's too long to put in the book. So I need to cut a wee bit off it and I can turn that into two tags. I don't know what size that is because unfortunately this seemed like a really good idea to buy this wee guillotine uh, but it only measures up to three and a half inches. So anything over and above that, I don't know what size it is. But it's, I actually bought it for uh, card making because obviously I know what size my cards are and um, so it's, it's okay with that. Right, so we'll make all these into uh, tags of some description and so it was peeled paint and uh, what was the other distress ink called? Uh, peeled paint and frayed burlap, that was it. So. For continuity, I have brought out the numbers again because I think, I mean, I'm, I'm planning and just doing some random stamping on these things. Um, to 
to make it look like a kind of mishmash on the front. Start with the big one. I will be distressing the edges as well once I get organised. Um, for ink I'm using a vintage sepia in Versafine. Not that, again, not that it really matters that much. Oh, I forgot to bring over. Do you know I do this all the time? I was organising everything and I forgot to bring over the baby wipe to clean stuff. Saying to get a baby wipe. The good news is the baby wipes aren't far away. I'm going to also, wait a minute, I'm going to use an alternative colour of ink as well, um, just for added interest. Since it's green and uh, brown, if you like, uh, I'm going to use a green Versafine ink, um, just for a bit, you know, an additional wee bit of interest. I'm going to have that one coming off the page a wee bit because again I think it's um, when you make things look a bit random um, I think it adds to their attraction Right, so that's it for numbers let's see what else I've got in the stamping set These are all um, from a kit that was done by what's it called? Uh, Viva Decor and really like them they're, uh, I, think they're, I think they're German and I don't know for sure but I think they're German but again um, they do quite a lot of vintage stuff which is my thing as you know Help. This says journey. This one. It would really help if I got it the right way up. Right. 
Now then this I've got I think I've got some that actually came free with a magazine and some Tim Holtz um, I've seen me buying magazines simply because they had free stamps and they're never they're never exceptional quality or anything like that but you know you get a use out of them and I don't think there's anything better than something that you feel you're getting for nothing I mean you know because most of the magazines are actually really quite expensive which is annoying but what can you do hey, what can you do happy with the way that came out. That might be quite difficult to fix but we'll see. Ah oh, that's alright. Quite impressed with that. I mean, it's no perfect, perfect, but it's it's okay. Because the the thing is about this uh, and the way obviously I'm doing this, I'm planning or trying to make it look quite randomy. Oh, that's upside down. Mm, I think we need to go green. And I don't mind if I stamp on top of some stamping that's there already because it's um, this is just intended as ephemera for the the book and for you to journal in the back of. Right. I think that will do me for this particular tag. So, I don't... Uh, wait a minute till I see if I've got my trusty... Oh, hold on, I need to move the camera. I'm looking for my trusty tag that I used to... Nah, yeah, it's not there. It's going to be away at the back of the drawer. Just check that's okay. So what I'll do is, the other way of doing your tags is just biting the bullet and cutting a corner. Then you take the corner, turn it the other way. the corners off and we can punch a hole with the old trusty crocodile which I think is away in the box so we'll wait till we've done them all and that way I'm organising it. Right this is uh, quite a wee bit smaller but it doesn't matter. I've got a nice wee corner here. Might be a wee bit big for that. Oh, yes. Maybe a wee bit big for this. Yes it is. So we shall put it on the big one and
managing to get ink on the block. Just check my fingers in case I'm trailing it about. Right, that's my phone, give me just a wee second. Sorry about that, uh, husband's on his way home, he uh, works every third Saturday. And this just happens to be the Saturday he's at work. So I went out, when I get my wee bit freedom, when he's at work on Saturdays, uh, I went out to the shops to buy rolls for our lunch, my brother and I, um, and I decided I nipped into, there's a shop here, uh, sells all sorts of things. Not terribly expensive, but a fairly good range of just different stuff, so I nipped in um, and bought a couple of Christmas presents, so something else that's off my list. I mean, I've still, still got more to get, unfortunately, but at least I've bought something, so that's a start. Oh, excuse me. I'll just add this wee, got a wee medallion here that I'll add to the bottom. Is my boy wandering about? Yes he is. What are you wanting, Timmy? I think you might want a pee pee. Bear with me again. So, right, so I've finished that one. Um, one more like this, or with this on it anyway. Now I've got a big, uh, kind of like, it's a bird cage, so I'll use that. When I go to put this video together, it's going to be in about 40 bits, because I keep getting interrupted. Right. And having the wee bird cage, I've also got the wee bird. So I'll do him in green. He's got a wee we can uh, swing to stand on. Get a wee birdie on a cage. Got a great big ticket that came with a stamp set of Tim Holtz's. I mean the ones, the ones that came 
from the magazine at all. They've seriously really run them. Wait a minute, that's like, that's like a wee border. It's a wee bit short, but that's okay because I'm not going to, I'll not use it there. It's like a wee lacy border. It's quite nice. I'll put it in the side. I like that, that's quite nice stamp. Should use that in other places. Right, I'm going to use this big ticket thing. I'll need to watch that I've got it the right way up because I don't know if it's... It's so small, I don't know if it's the right way up. Oh wait a minute, I can read New York. I'll do it in brown. Always take your stamp pad to your uh, stamp as opposed to your stamp to your stamp pad. Now this is going to be a double air stamp, I just hope it stamps good. Because if that doesn't, nah, it's not great in the middle, but it's okay. It's We'll let that go. In fact, what I could maybe do is stamp something across it. You get a big arrow as part of the that stamp set. And something else I can do. I'll just use this wee bit of music paper, right? Um, I can stamp off, which means that that's taking the majority of the ink. So when I go like that, uh, it should still get an impression, but obviously it's not going to be anywhere near as deep in terms of colour. But you can still see it, that's fine. That does. There is another, I think there's another arrow. Either there is, there's a smaller one. I can have that crossing it. Put that in the way. There, I just did the thing I told you not to do. And this is why. Invariably, your stamp sticks to the pad. I need to put some numbers in this. Just so that we keep the continuity going. Continuity. I think I'll leave it at that for that. I don't think it needs 
I mean, you can keep going and fill every single wee inch, but there's not really any need. Now, I'll just use my corners that I cut from the other tag. That way these two will at least be quite similar. I'll punch holes in that in a minute. Right, what have I got left to do? I've still got a few. I don't want to... I'm not just doing hundreds of stamped tags. There isn't any need uh, to make them all the same. I'm going to do some collage tags among them. The other beauty of photo polymer stamps is you can generally tell if you've stamped them okay. Well, you know, if you've inked them rather, because um, you can see through them. And so I'm stamping this and do you know what's coming into my head? Um, it's, it's obviously an old joke, but I heard it, I think the first time I ever heard it was on Spongebob Squarepants and it was why was six afraid of seven because seven, eight, nine and I thought oh <laughs> you know in that pathetic way that you find things that aren't really all that funny absolutely hilarious well that was me look at another corner here I didn't know that now this Looks a bit uh, not quite as. Right, it's a wee bit. This looks very Tim's Holtish. Because it's not complete. But that's okay because it looks distressed. I'm distressed as a middle name. Cloak here, or a cloak face, should I say? Or technically, I should call it a timepiece. Now, here's something that you may not have known. You should really only call a clock a clock when it has a chime. If it doesn't have a chime, it is merely a timepiece. So, there, did you know that? I am a wealth of useless information. Um, did a lot of pub quizzes when I was younger. So you end up with a head full of nonsense. Well, it's nonsense, but it's interesting nonsense. Is for the stamped tags for just now because what I've got to still do, bear with me while I move these out of the way, free up a wee bit of room, I can move these ink pads as well from the stamping end nails, is we can distress the edges of what we've stamped here. So I'm just using normal run of the mill vintage photo distress ink and I can move away that because I don't want to dirty that and just go around the edge.
Oh, Daisy's about to start. Bear with me, I'm going to shut the door over. Somebody will have walked past. Because I don't see my husband being home quite that quick, so. So I don't think it's him coming into the driveway. Right, I think that will do is in the distress front. So we can put those back in the drawer. Maybe give this table a wee bit of a light. Oh goodness, look how dirty that was. Oh, it's not dirty, it's a sink. But I just makes you feel grubby so as it does. Fingers aren't exactly great. Right, um, last thing to do is I'm going to do the crocodile. Uh, right, now I only need to crocodile the two big ones. Bear with me while I try to get it out of the box. Um, I'll use these little kind of, I think they're kind of brassy coloured um, eyelets or grommets or whatever they want to call them. I think they're called, I think we call them eyelets in this country and they're maybe grommets elsewhere or vice versa, I don't know. Talking through a hole in my bonnet as they say. Right, I've got to make sure I get the, the big hole and make sure it's kind of centralised. Oh, no, that's my husband. That means I need to move like the wind. So, there you go. Um, the intention, oh, it's a wee bit marked with the distress ink in the back. That's okay, because that's the whole thing about these. hope you can see these okay. And these two, I'll just leave as ephemera like that. Again, with journal in the, in the back. Right, so tomorrow we'll do some more, but a wee bit different. Um, that might involve a, a modicum of stamping but in the main it'll be kind of collage work and uh, a new thing that I'm going to show you at least I'm going to try to show you although no doubt somebody will have done it already but anyway we'll see that so I'll see you tomorrow so thanks very much for everybody and thanks for everybody being so nice and all your lovely uh, chit chats with me it's it's really nice thanks very much because I don't I have no company uh, Apart from the dogs and my brother all day and then my husband when he comes in at night but I get no female company and it's quite nice to be able to talk uh, just about things that bother you and wee bits of crafting and it just makes my day. So thanks for your time and I shall see you all again tomorrow. Bye!